Okay, here it is. We're gonna go through everything, but I've already seen this, right? And I'm pretty sure you guys have too. First of all, this is probably like the most violent trailer besides not even Mario getting stabbed by Sephiroth, right? Like, I think Ganondorf is legit. He's like, he's yellow. That's how dead he is. He's not even like a human color. Not that he ever was, but still. He just fucking gets killed. He gets thrown into the, the lava. You don't survive from that. Check out the, uh, the announcer in the background. That is the same announcer, obviously, from Tekken. But I have a feeling, because later on in the video, that he's going to be specific for Kazuya Mishima. I bet you. Get ready for the next battle. That's sick. And as you can see, I'm sure he's gonna have the turnaround mechanic. He's gonna have, he's clearly gonna have some combos on here, which you'll see a little bit later. Um, he has the Sagat mark that, uh, that Ryu did to uh, Sagat <laughs> with the uppercut. For some reason he has it too. I don't know the lore of Tekken that much, but I was screaming when I found out that this guy was going to be in Smash. Although personally, I would have preferred Jin or Hitachi or Yoshimitsu or uh, what's that guy's name with uh, the one that kicks a lot? Guy that kicks. Oh yeah, Horang. This guy would have wanted him in, but we'll take what we can get, right? Quick showcase, right? Definitely rushing back and forth. So they have the they have the turnaround mechanic. They will always face your opponent, no matter what. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So is he that fast, dude? He's that fast. Look at that. He literally just hit the ground, and I think he canceled his animation. That's fast as hell. And then he just combos into it. Now, obviously, this is a reference to another fighter character being thrown into Smash Bros. Terry, which is the other fighter DLC. He's able to duck underneath projectiles. Look at that. That's like inkling, you know? Yeah, that's nutty. Stun move. I don't know if that charges kind of like focus attack for the Street Fighter guys. Kind of looks like it doesn't. Obviously, the signature uh, hurricane kicks. Sick. Yeah, maybe it's charged. I don't know. But it stuns. That's kind of broken. Now, that's the 10-hit combo right there. I, I think if he's anything like Terry, he's going to have a lot of inputs. So this combo is going to be made through inputs. And it's not just going to be like side B and then you get all this. At least if it is, that's going to be kind of crazy. Really easy to pick this character up. But I'm hoping it's a little bit more technical than that. Because this looks way too broken to just throw out like that. Now, of course, with every new character, you get a new stage. And as you're noticing on the sides here, it's kind of like Terry's stage, where with enough knockback, I either go onto a new stage from there, or that's basically just KO. Which is basically KO because of that, right? So it's like Terry's stage. Yeah. Again, the most violent reveal ever. Literally the death of Captain Falcon, the death of Pit, uh, Min Min, Marth. But what I do notice here is as he takes, I'm assuming as he takes stock, right? One death gone, he gets a little bit more aura. Another get that out, more aura. <laughs> I'm just calling it aura, I don't know. It just reminds me of Lucario. Min Min's gone. More aura, right? And then finally, we have Demon Hita uh, Kazuya. Which in and of itself is really broken as hell, honestly. So my theory is, because of this, it may be like Arsene, it literally may be Arsene part two, or something like Sephiroth's left wing or something like that. But because this is specifically showing him dumping all these characters, I feel that the more damage he does, the more he's capable of getting this kind of demon mode of him. That's all I'm getting off of the reveal. Most likely it'll be kind of like KO punch, Arsene, the one wing. The more damage you take, the more you get it. But this isn't being shown here, it's just the more damage you do the better you get maybe another comeback mechanic or an advantage mechanic right wings stunning electric moves right that's like focus attack right there that's straight up focus attack but like burning knuckle focus attack projectile i don't think he has a projectile without this mode so he might have new uh, move sets 
Now those animations, you see those little sparks like right there? Right there? This is usually you power through something, right? Like Little Mac has this on his smash attacks. Sephiroth has this on his smash attacks um, when he has a one wing. So you may get super armor with that, which is really unfair. And I don't know how I missed this, but he clearly has, uh, I guess, three jumps, right? With this mode. That might have been an up B, actually. There is a lot of end lag in this move. It looks really predictable. If that's the move, maybe it's like a Ganon's, Ganon's neutral B, but just like farther and stuns more, I guess. That's what that looks like. Maybe a comeback mechanic. Oh, or he loses it. The more you get hit, the more you lose, right? So it is kind of like Arsen. There you go, yeah. Kick, kick his ass enough, it's gone. Fat throws, right? Man. And as I had said earlier, pretty sure that same announcer is going to be doing all of Hita Hi Kazuya's, like, announcements. Kazuya Mishima wins. Right? I mean, doesn't that make sense? They just brought in a new announcer. Why wouldn't you do that for DLC? I don't know. That's pretty nuts. I don't know what this character will bring, uh, if he's fast, if he's like really powerful, he may be top tier, but it kind of looks like he has a lot of slow moves. However, he looks like he's going to be a ton of fun to master, and I cannot wait to get into that. But yeah, that's kind of what I see so far. I don't know if you guys see anything different, um, we're going to be catching a lot of different things coming up soon, so... That'll be interesting. And yeah, that's it. We'll break down the rest of the other video in another video and uh, kind of call it a day. See you guys next time.